thing with uh, modern death metal bands. I kind of think that um, it's more about if you can play it, then how you play it. The point is, if you play metal, you sh I think you should play it as a, like a metal drummer, like Dave Lombardo or Scott Travis. You know what I mean? Like, have a solid stroke. And that's why I created this uh, hybrid technique, exactly. Like, because I can use, a lot of uh, fast drummers use the fingers, which, which works perfectly because you can play fast with less effort. But it just doesn't have the same impact. Let's put it this way, it doesn't have the same volume. Because, uh, of course, metal needs to be played loud. <laughs> it might sound stupid, but it's very important for the impact the music has. And if you have like death metal or technical death metal, it doesn't matter how fast it is. It should be played powerful, in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's up to somebody else. Of course, you can bring everything down and then the sound guy just pushes up the knobs that's working fine and it works for most people it just doesn't work for me because when i play slower stuff i play rim shots on the snare drum and they get super loud and i play loud and so i had to decide okay do i try to bring everything down and play in a very controlled way or do i bring everything up also the fast stuff and to me it was clear what to do because i i see it in a way you have to play metal like a metal drummer, I don't know. Like jazz, you have to play jazz like a jazz drummer. Maybe you don't, maybe you create something new when you play jazz like a metal drummer, I don't know. But when you play in a small jazz club gig, um, of course you have to focus on what the saxophone is playing and then you have to reduce your volume and play light and swingish, like with a lot of swing. And I think like in the same way you have to play metal like a metal drummer, like um, play the rim shot when you play a backbeat, have attack on the toms and do everything like that, crash the crash cymbal. I think that's important for the impact of the music. If you don't do that, um, that impact gets lost. It might not get lost on a big stage where you're far away from the musicians that play it because then it's really just a matter of what you hear. But um, when you stand close to, to the band, you will um, feel the difference. And I think that's very, very important to, to feel that difference. I'm pretty much on the same page in, in, in that sense. It, it should not be, I mean, the impact of and how music sounds in general should be more important than playing it um, pitch perfect or as, you know, of course, it's important to play precisely because if you don't play precise and if you don't play tight as a band, you lose um, brutality. You shouldn't play like data from Star Trek. That's what I'm basically saying. Like, uh, don't lose the, the general impact to how this whole music has evolved because metal drummers in the past played much differently. If you watch old uh, Black Sabbath videos from the 70s or in the Beat Club or something, they were hitting hard. Like, and uh, it was loud music and dangerous music and so on. And I think, especially me, like I should probably don't say anything about it because I'm the least dangerous person in metal. <laughs> you know, I don't even have long hair. When you go on stage, it's, it's, it's the attitude, how you play. I think that's, that's 100%, like that's 90% of, of your performance. And 10% is maybe you worry about your hand technique being in the right place. That doesn't matter. 